And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday. It's the 20th of November, 2021. It's the birthday of the astronomer Edwin Powell Hubble, Marshfield, Missouri, 1889. He became a lawyer but gave up practicing law, decided to get a doctorate in astronomy instead, went to work at Mount Wilson Observatory in Pasadena, where he discovered there are other galaxies outside the Milky Way, and these distant galaxies are moving away from the Milky Way. In other words, the concept of the expanding universe, which has been called the most spectacular astronomical discovery of the 20th century. The Hubble Telescope was named for him. It's the birthday of Don DeLillo, the novelist, 1936, Bronx, New York, who said, I became a writer by living in New York and seeing and hearing and feeling all the great, amazing, and dangerous things the city endlessly assembles. And I also became a writer by avoiding serious commitment to anything else. Hemingway was one of his early heroes. After college, DeLillo took a job as an advertising copywriter, quit just as he was getting good at it, he said. His first novel was Americana in 1971. His 15th Point Omega came out in 2010. Don DeLillo, who said, I've never thought of myself in terms of a career. I don't have a career. I have a typewriter. And it's the birthday of Nadine Gordimer, born in Spring, South Africa, 1923, who wanted to write about life in her country and never intended to write political novels, but she knew that she would have to write about the repression of black South Africans under apartheid. Three of her novels were banned in South Africa. She was criticized for writing from the point of view of black characters, though she herself was white. She said there are things that blacks know about whites that we don't know about ourselves that we conceal and don't reveal in our relationships. Here's a poem for today by Kenneth Rexroth, Falling Leaves and Early Snow. In the years to come, they will say, they fell like the leaves in the autumn of 1939. November has come to the forest, to the meadows, where we picked the cyclamen. The year fades with the white frost on the brown sedge in the hazy meadows, where the deer tracks were black in the morning. Ice forms in the shadows, disheveled maples hang over the water. Deep gold sunlight glistens on the shrunken stream. Somnolent trout move through pillars of brown and gold. The yellow maple leaves eddy above them. The glittering leaves of the cottonwood, the olive velvety alder leaves, the scarlet dogwood leaves, most poignant of all. In the afternoon, thin blades of cloud move over the mountains. The storm clouds follow them. Fine rain falls without wind. The forest is filled with wet, resonant silence. When the rain pauses, the clouds cling to the cliffs and the waterfalls. In the evening, the wind changes. Snow falls in the sunset. We stand in the snowy twilight and watch the moon rise in a breach of cloud. Between the black pines lie narrow bands of moonlight glimmering with floating snow. An owl cries in the sifting darkness. The moon has a sheen like a glacier. A poem by Kenneth Rexroth, Falling Leaves and Early Snow. That's the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, November the 20th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>